Hey everyone. Well, until people start coming, I'm going to blast our My Mayhem jingle because today is Thursday. Hey. Are y'all ready? I see y'all. Hey, Jazzy. Hey, Stacy. Okay, so y'all got a jam, okay? This is a My Mayhem party. Hi, nephew. Hey, first friends, then wives. Now mine. Follow us on our journey. Hey, y'all. We about to start, we got one minute, one minute, and we gonna start this live. Hey, y'all dancing with me or y'all just watching me dance? Let me know, let me know. Hey. All right, one more time, one more time, and I'ma bring on Tuesday. Hey, cuz I'll show. Baby. Hey, I see you turn up. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hold on, let me pause this. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm so glad you guys took out some time, even though we have a lot of time on our hands nowadays. But I'm so glad that you're here. You're here to hear us talk about how we have been coping with COVID-19. Hey, Tuesday, get ready because I'm about to bring you in. Send your request. And um, so I'm pretty much going to be the moderator today. I'm going to bring Tuesday on first and she's going to talk. We're going to have a dialogue about how we've been coping during COVID-19. Um, during the dialogue, if you guys have any questions or if you have any particular um, topics that you wanna hear, please comment them, okay? Jasmine is on here too, so she can help like monitor the comments and all of those things. Let me see. Hi, Brother Rich. I see you, bro. Um, let me see if I know how to pin stuff. Thank you, Jawaza, because you already know your girl be trying to come on here correct, okay? So, thank you. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how to pin comments. Okay, we'll figure it out. Hey, Nana, I see you. Hey, Nana, hey, you guys. Oh, my God. Okay, first, let me say, I am so excited and grateful every time we do one of these and you guys actually attend or like support or watch or whatever <laughs> i really really get excited i'm truly grateful we all are very truly grateful for all of you guys like look at us a whole year later right still going still going strong hey zen hey amber making sure that we are giving you guys content getting better with the content that we're creating. Like we really put a lot of thought into My Mayhem. It's not just something that we just do, you know, without any intention or any goals. So when I come on here and when we host these lives and you guys show up and you're responding, you're commenting, you're liking our posts, it means the world to us. So I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate you. Okay, Tuesday, are you ready, honey? We are, I'm ready, but I don't see your request. Um, so we are in LA, if you don't know. Um, we're in Los Angeles, California. We are um, in the, uh, under the stay home mandate. So, okay, I see you twos. Hey, Roy. 
Um, so that's why we're not able to be all together, which I'm sad about. Uh, I had to FaceTime or I duo girls earlier, like the last live we were together. Let's get ready together. Hi, to Hi. So I was just telling them how I was like, let's get ready together since we can't be. And you look good, girl, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do too, girl. <laughs> ah. Okay, are you ready to turn up or what? I am. Okay. Real quick, real quick. So everybody, this is a Mind Mayhem dance party right now. Are you ready? Okay. It's just on repeat, so it's not going to start from the top. Yeah. Right. Shout out, Ray Fresh B. Okay, that's the side, that's the side. Hey, hey, hey. I don't hear it yet. Thursday, I'm nervous. Hey, today is Thursday. Hey, today is Friday. Hey, turn up. Hey, today. Hey. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, thank you guys for tuning in. I already told them how we're super grateful every time we do a live and we get all the support and on the daily, them liking our posts and all that. I mm -hmm. really, really appreciate it. Yes, we appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> okay, Tuzi, so you're up okay. first, right? Um. I know that first we want to acknowledge those essential workers. Do you want to go ahead and give us yes. a special thank you? Yes, yes, yes. So a special thank you to all essential workers. That means people at Walgreens. That means healthcare professionals. That means people who have to still go to work. People at restaurants that are having to serve people. We just want to give a special thank you. I will never look at any of you guys the same because this is the real deal. And every day you go to work, you are taking a risk. And I just appreciate all the essential workers for making sure that we're fed, making sure that we are taken care of, making sure that we are getting adequate health care, even if we are infected with the COVID-19. So special thank you to all of the essential workers. We could not do all of this without you. Special hand clap, clap, clap. Yes. So, with that being said, Tuesday, do you want to play around with a filter before we get into your uh, question? Yeah, let me see what I got going on. Girl, girl. I got the glitter filter on. I see. Let me see something. <laughs> play around, play around. As people are still coming in, hey, everyone. I see the hand claps for the essential work. Oh, I like the hearts. I'm going to do the hearts. Okay. Okay, hearts. Yes. Is that because you're in So I'm love? doing hearts. I'm getting hearts. Is that because you're in love? Yes, I'm very much so in love. Okay. Okay, so All right. we're here today. We're going to discuss how we've been coping during COVID-19. Yes. So the first thing I want you to share, if there is any... Um, Maybe any vulnerable statements about how you felt when you first heard about the coronavirus? Like, mm, were yeah. you thinking like it was serious? Like, how were you feeling at first? Well, I think, I don't think that anyone knew to what degree that we were all going to be affected by this. I mean, I get scared of the common flu. But, like, I had no idea that there was something that could literally shut down the whole country. <laughs> and so I was, I was definitely, like, you know, like, following the rules and not doing things that they told us not to do. But I just had no idea that it would impact the country how it has impacted right. the country. Or that so many lives would be lost. Yeah. I had no idea. So... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's really crazy, and it is serious. Yeah. Isn't it? So mm -hmm. I definitely 
agree. I didn't. I wasn't taking it serious at all. I was not. I just thought yeah. like it was something that would pass. Like yeah. all the other things we've heard of, like right. SARS. You know, the world didn't shut down because of SARS. Mm -hmm. It was just like skeptical with opening the mail. You know, like, right, right, right. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be this serious. So now that we're in it. And you and I have never experienced anything like this in our entire mm -hmm. lives. Um, I wanted to come on here and hopefully inspire, motivate, and um, encourage our audience, our followers during this time. So mm -hmm. have you had any changes in your behavior during this time? Well, yeah. I mean, one of the changes is that I'm in the house all the time. Okay. I'm always in the house unless I am doing things like going to the store. Like, you have to eat. So we have to go to the store or whether I am working out. So that is one of the behaviors that has kind of changed. I've been very consistent with going out and walking every morning and okay. then um, and then working out with my parents on the weekend. So okay. I do go hiking with my parents on the weekend. So I've just been, that's how I've been kind of getting my sunlight. That's how I've been still trying to kind of maintain an, an active um, lifestyle because being in the house is easy to sit on the couch every day. So I have been doing those types of things. And um, hmm, what else? Well, I'll just say along with you is I've definitely increased my physical activity as well. Yeah. So yeah. one thing that I've been doing is Trap Zumba, which is held here on Instagram. Um, mm -hmm. Let me, um, Jazzy, put Trap Zumba's handle in the comments, please. But yeah, I've been doing that. And it's every Tuesday at four, every Thursday at eight. Yes. I've been, yeah, getting it in. I've just been thinking, like, I can't sit here in this house yeah. throughout this quarantine yeah. and come yeah. out 20 pounds heavier. Like, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Summertime yeah. bodies, not going to be summertime bodies right. at all. Right. Yeah. So, so I'm so definitely. Like, yeah, I ha we have the time, right? Like, mm -hmm. we yeah. don't have as much stress either. Mm -hmm. Personally, mm -hmm. I know I don't as far as like deals and all that. Like so many debtors are working with you to do yeah, deferments sure. and things mm -hmm. like that. So it just really I feel like my head is just free and it's just yeah. like whatever can come. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So speaking of a free headspace and just kind of embracing create, um, I've been doing some of that as well. So my cousin, Jawanza, and I started a, a YouTube channel called The Cuzzo Show, which is in hey. there. Hey, Hey, The Cuzzo Show. They the are show. the Yeah. <laughs> yes. So um, as everyone must know, Insecure Season 4 has started. And with that being said, we are doing Insecure Review. Yes, yeah, shout out to Issa, shout out yeah. to the HBO fam and Insecure. Yeah. So we have been doing uh, a review, an uh, Insecure review page. And so each week, it's really been a joy to get with him. We watch the show together. We review it. We talk about it. You can follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. Um, and so we're doing things like that. I've really dug deep into, well, we all have dug deep into my mayhem and just kind of thinking of thinking critically about ways that we can get what we need to get done easier. And so just, we have the time to sit, we have the time to get these creative juices flowing. And so that is another behavior that I have changed, just like being able to sit down, coming up with new and improved opportunities, coming up with new things to do with the people that I love. And I'm really enjoying the Cuzzo show as I am enjoying my mayhem. And so I'm that's enjoying what... the Cuzzo show too. Are you? Thank yes. you. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I think it's great. I think this time is truly a time to give things a try that you maybe have been putting on the back burner or yes. it's a time to get inspired mm -hmm. because what Absolutely. you don't want to do is 
be stuck in a, 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 a cloudy mind space yes. where you're like yes. depressed and concerned and stressed and fearful, like yes, that's counterproductive, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, and yeah. then thinking of ways that you can still create revenue in a time where people are not able to work, you know, people are not able to go to their regular jobs. Um, thinking of ways like a YouTube channel per se or like entrepreneurial things to do that will help you to create revenue no matter if the country is shut down or not. Everyone is on YouTube. Everyone is, you know, trying to find different things that they can do because there's so many things that we cannot. So just figuring out like the importance of kind of having your own thing going on. This has really opened my eyes to that. And um, for me, just my attitude about life period is changing. Like my attitude about outside and like going places and doing, and just going forward because as we all are in the house, a lot of people are losing their lives. And so it really makes you kind of think about what are you doing with the life that you have? And um, and so I just want to maximize that. And so that's what I've been thinking about. My husband and I sit up and think about master plans all day long. So with you mentioning losing lives being lost, um, mm -hmm. I know that you recently have lost a loved one. So mm -hmm. definitely sending you condolences, you and your Thank family, you. and our prayers. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Any other um, family effects? And do you want to honor, you have this time to honor your grandfather as well? Yeah. So, I mean, with family effects, I want to, um, yeah, since you did mention it, uh, my granddad, my grandfather passed away and he had succumbed to COVID-19. And so, I mean, that's another eye opener and have that will have you saying like, wow, this is really real because you hear of people dying. And when you hear of all these people dying, you think that you it won't affect your family or no, you won't know anyone that has succumbed to it. And unfortunately, my grandfather did um, recently. And so that is a family effect. On the brighter side, um, you get to spend a whole lot of time with the people that you love. And so it's really hard because when you do lose somebody, you want to hold on to everybody so tightly. And because we're not able to, it's a little challenging. But um, but it definitely makes me just want to cherish my family members a lot more. Um, my mother has decided to socially distance with us. So I have her around me every day. And um, those family members that I am socially distancing with, we are able to hug on each other and love on each other. Lots of husband and wife time, lots of time with my little one. Um, so it's not all bad, but unfortunately, people are losing their lives. But in that, we just have to um, learn how to honor those people by changing behaviors in a good way reaching out to loved ones, telling people you love them while they're here. Um, that's really having a good outlook on life because everybody is not here that was here yesterday. You know, so it's just, it's, it's serious. And I just want to make that adjustment. And that's my way to honor all the lives lost during COVID-19 is just to make sure that I'm being a better friend, a better daughter, a better family member, a better loved one to everyone around me yes yeah that's wonderful wonderful so we do as my mayhem just want to take this time if you have lost a loved one we want to just offer our condolences yes and our prayers to you and your loved ones um yes okay so we've kind of hinted on your attitude and mood but is there anything else that you want to share as far as any shifts in your attitude perspective mood well, certainly, um, wow, I've been thinking of all these things that I'm going to do once outside opens up. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, I What's the first won't... thing you're going to do? What is oh, my gosh. Thing? Well, first of all, I'm going to get my eyebrows done. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, I've been making it work. 
But I'm going to tell you. Concealer, <laughs> eyebrow pencil. Yes. yes. I have been making it work, but I will tell you that it is going down over here. Okay? So, <laughs> I am definitely getting my eyebrows done. Okay. And I'm thinking about just making a list because I probably won't hit the bed until I am just, like, about to pass out. When yeah. outside opens up, I'm ready to hit the road for real. Right. So, for real. yeah. <laughs> but one thing for sure is I want to go to World on Wheels. Shout out yes, to World on Wheels. I want to go skating. Yes. There will not be. Wanna, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. I want to skate. I want to dance. I want to do it all. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. And then the last thing, if you wanted to share any hardships that you've had during this time. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I do want to share, it's not necessarily a hardship, it's just a change, it's a shift. So, my son did just turn one, and um, instead of doing what we had planned, we had to shift gears. What did and, you plan? Uh, well, I had planned, like, you know, a big one-year celebration, like, I was planning on doing the decorations, getting all this stuff, doing all these things. And, well, I guess all this stuff really puts things into perspective because literally he had an amazing time. And it was just with, you know, loved ones that decided to come by at different times during the day. Um, we did kind of do it socially distanced where um, where it wasn't a whole bunch of people here at one time. It was, you know, people were dropping in and out. And so um, I did have to shift gears. My husband also had a birthday last month that I had to definitely shift gears with. I mean, it was the big 30, you know, the dirty 30. We were supposed to turn up. We were supposed to be in Houston, Bruce, I had planned a trip to Houston. My friends in Houston helped me plan. And uh, with all of this going on, we had to cancel the trip. And so in, um, in wifely fashion, I had to get things together. So um, I definitely decorated the whole house. And we had um, club living room popping off in here. <laughs> So we had yes. music going, we played games, we ate, we really had a good time, just him and I. And, uh, but yeah, that was definitely a shift. So, and I would say my canceled trip was a hardship. <laughs> that yeah. trip, yes, like along you. with um, my cousin's bachelorette trip that I was supposed to just be coming back from. Um, we were supposed to be in Cabo. Be in the air, huh? 2020, I was just like living, you know. <laughs> You had a clear vision to be. I had, yeah, huh? oh my goodness, like I had plans when I yeah. tell you, like paying on trips for a year. I, we paid on this Cabo trip for a year and all of this went down and we were not able to go. Fortunately, they let us postpone it. So uh, we will be going later on. But when I tell you I was ready, like I was so so ready. I was depriving right. myself of things financially, just saying that, you know, that was my celebration of having a baby a year ago was that I would get to go sit on the beach and drink something out of a pineapple. Yeah. That was my celebration. And well, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so that kind of shifted. And then, Absolutely. um, yeah. And then the My Mayhem ladies and our families, we were supposed to go to New Orleans for Jasmine's birthday. And so that trip, uh, Essence Festival, has been canceled this year. Our so trip is canceled. <laughs> yes, we're sitting here actively trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yes. And so definitely a lot of adjustments for sure. Yes, lots of adjustments, and I would call those hardships not nearly as much as people who are not able to sustain their households and do those things. Um, but it's just kind of bummer. Just a disruption of your plan. Yeah, everything that's been planned has been postponed and has been crushed. Yeah. But yeah, those are the things. And of course, those are my grandfather. That that was a big hardship of our family. Um, one of my husband's jobs he has not been able to do 
um, regularly. And so just those type of things. But thank God that we have other sources of revenue to help us. But yeah, he hasn't been able to do um, one of his jobs. So we have been experiencing some things, but used to overcoming we are used to overcoming yeah but as black and brown people we are used to overcoming so, yeah so as we wrap it up we about to get jasmine on here i just want to hear just one word of encouragement for our followers our viewers on this live um a word of encouragement well for one stay inside so we can go outside <laughs> stay out stay inside so we can go outside please please, please. <laughs> so that's not a word of encouragement that's just like like a plea like please do this please do this um a word of encouragement is literally please there is nothing that is unobtainable. There is nothing that is like too strange that can happen. There is nothing. Listen, if you want to start a business, do everything since you have all this time, do everything up until the money, everything. So business plans, do everything because life is way too short. We don't have time to play around. As you can see, they can cut off money and give us money whenever they feel like it. More control of our lives. And we have to love one another and be kind to one another. Those are my words of encouragement. I love you all. Thank you so much for always supporting my mayhem. Yes. yes, and um, my braids are done by garnish. <laughs> and you're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the Cuzzo Show, and I'm out. <laughs> Bye, Tuzi. Bye. Okay, okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed Tuesday. I am going to go ahead and get Jasmine on here so we can hear from her. And I'm, I'm requesting you or adding you, Jazzy. So yeah, you guys, I hope you're enjoying us uh, discussing this. Hey, Jazzy. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, are you ready to turn up? I'm ready to turn up. Okay. All right, let's. Is this on repeat? So it's not going to start from the top. Hold on. Can you hear it? Hey, hey it's Thursday. Where y'all at? Hey. Okay, all right, turn up, turn up. Hey, stay. Hey, Tom. Don't be trying not to sing for the people. Hey. <laughs> hey. As in, Woo, it's getting hot. It is so hot. Girl, you ain't never <laughs> lied, okay? Okay. Hey, Jazzy. Hey, what's up? So, today we're sharing with our followers, our audience, how we've been coping during COVID-19. Okay, okay. So, I, got I know you were listening when Tuesday was talking. Um, what are some behaviors that have shifted for you during this time? I most definitely have been doing way more yoga and meditation just to keep me grounded in all this chaos. So I'm not going crazy because I am one who deals with anxiety and stuff like that. And it's just very important to me to keep my mind at peace. And meditation it's does that for me. Super important for all of us to keep our minds at peace. And I definitely can relate with what you're saying. I have been fueling my heart and my soul with sermons. I've been reading the Bible. I've been doing a lot of prayer and devotion. 
uh, much more than I would say prior to COVID-19. Just to make sure, like you said, that I'm grounded, that I'm at peace, and that I can continue day in and day out with all that is going on. Yeah, I'm so. definitely doing it way more now because I feel like, hey, I got more time on my hands. Yes. So more yes. time to focus on me. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's great. So what are some attitudes, moods, or perspective shifts that have occurred for you? Um, my attitude has remained stable, but sometimes my day can become overwhelming knowing that I have an almost two-year-old in the house with me on a daily basis. Um, so a seer is normally not at home with you on a daily basis? He's norm he would normally be at school, but since school has shut down and um the rest of the twenty twenty school year is over, yeah. I am sad about it, not because I want my son to be gone, but because it has taken away his you know, his time interact. to interact yes, interact with other children and he loves Learn kids. in a different and environment. He loves to learn. Yes. Yeah. Well, you can hear my almost two-year-old in the background. <laughs> this is not normal, my mayhem fashion, but COVID-19 <laughs> behavior, okay? Yeah, so, so, yeah, absolutely. I definitely um, understand that as well. So you said you feel overwhelmed sometimes. What do you do? Like, how do you alleviate that feeling of feeling overwhelmed? Um, I kind of just like if he's doing something that's overwhelming to me, I'll just change the whole scenery and it's just like drop everything, whether the house is dirty and your lunch is still on the table. Oh, well, I'll get back to it later. Right. We're going outside. We're okay. going outside and we're getting some sunlight or we need we need to change. So I try my best to keep him on a schedule and because he's used to a uh, schedule. So I didn't want to change that for him. Okay. So he's sticking to the schedule and it's been working. And I'm glad that it is. So now, pretty much you just, to... you take the pressure off yourself. Like if yeah. you're feeling overwhelmed, you're like, nope, I'm not going to do that. So yep. let so me like, do whatever. Like on Wednesdays, um, I don't work. So, um, if I don't feel like getting out of the bed at scheduled time, we lay there and we just be chilling until he says, mom, I want to eat. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. So more freedom for sure in your, your mood. Okay. And then what would you say, how has COVID-19 affected your family? Like dynamic? It has, it has changed it. Um, a tad and I mean it's unfortunate I'm not able to see one of my daughters um Aubrey uh has to stay away from us right now and I can't wait to this to be over so we can see her yeah that's very um, unfortunate for sure how are you guys yeah. coping with that like do you just do a lot of FaceTimes or you know Google we do a lot of FaceTime she texts every day everybody in the family she makes sure she's staying connected but I know she misses us she's um uh, she's been using her time wisely though she's been doing a lot of arts um okay. she's been doing a lot of baking okay um so I'm glad that she's using her time wisely but yes we miss her very so much. technology is definitely helping you out in that arena Def yeah okay okay so the inability to see one of your daughters what else is going on are you guys um, still keeping up with like family uh maybe you guys see each other weekly or anything are you guys still doing that definitely definitely because i need human in interaction i don't know what they're talking about with this uh social distancing but i, I just can't do it with you're people not for it. <laughs> i'm not for it and, they, and especially not with my mom like so my mom comes uh down every Tuesday, faithfully, we have Taco Tuesday with my brother and my sister-in-law, and we have not changed that. Okay. Um, so that's that. And then Sunday is Sunday dinner um, with uh, my husband's uh, family. So we okay. always stay 
true to that, and that's our laundry day anyway. So we wash at um, his parents' house, okay. and I just I just get to stay connected with the people that I already was close to. I just I don't see any new people. I don't. You know, I don't be hanging out with nobody I haven't already been hanging out with. Yeah. So whatever rituals or weekly visits that were in place, you're maintaining those. But other than that, you're not creating any new. Okay. Okay, good. So I can definitely agree with you on that. We have a Sunday fun day at my husband's family's house every week. And we're not going to (laughs) stop. Especially because... Especially because you can't go nowhere else right now right. and do nothing. Right. You that is your outing and you're so happy to go there. Exactly. I was gonna say the time spent is just so much more appreciated, you know, now. Like you can take people away from their jobs, you can take people away from entertainment, like socially, but you can't take people hey, away baby. from their family. You can't take people away from their family. So no, definitely grateful for family time. Um, how else would you say uh, COVID-19 has affected you in regards to any hardships that you may have experienced during this time? Um, I've faced one hardship, but I'm not really sad about it at all because I kind of wanted it to happen and it's the perfect time for me to take advantage of it okay. is um, I had a timeshare and I wanted out and I wanted to do it the right way, but they aren't very lenient when it comes to getting out of timeshare. So I've had to default on a loan and Something sad because it's going to be on my credit and I have A1 credit and I don't want it to be affected, but it's going to be, but I'm going to be okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, I would say I was just telling Tuesday that because of all of the support that the whole world is giving towards like our debtors, you know, like people who owe money, like car notes, credit cards, all of those things. It kind of takes the pressure off of you feeling like if you have no means of income, how are you going to pay these bills? Yeah. Um, So I'm definitely grateful for that. Um, If you have not contacted your debtors, be sure you do so. They are offering a lot of assistance, um, a lot of deferments that will not include late fees, that will not include additional interest. So if you haven't, um, taking advantage of contacting your debtors, please do, because it's it's a real um, huge relief as far as, yes. you know, your monthly expenses goes. Um, I, too, have not been able to work. That's one of my hardships. So um, I am a licensed cosmetologist, which means I do hair. I'm a hairstylist. Hair salons are shut down. And... Um, <laughs> the industry that I work in overall as an executive assistant is the beauty industry. So that as well is shut down. So it's afforded me a lot of free time for sure to be creative and fuel up my mayhem with inspiration and goals and things of that. I definitely need to be in the salon. (laughs) (laughs) I need a retouch. I need a retouch. But (laughs) But yeah, like it's it's definitely allowed me uh, more free time, but it's still a hardship. Like I would much rather be able to go do your retouch. <laughs> I would much rather be in, in my creative space, you know, doing what I would love to do. So that's one of the hardships that I've experienced for sure. Um, so yeah. as... As we wrap this up, because we are pretty much at the end of it, is there any encouraging words, anything you want to share with our audience or viewers um, to help them continue to get through this time? I definitely would say in this time, um, I am an advocate for family. And right now, um, you can't see the the elders in your family because they're the ones that are mostly at risk at during these times. 
So, and they're not too keen on social media and all of that and the whole FaceTime, especially if they're older, older. So please make sure you're calling, making sure you tell them how much you love them because older people seem to go faster when they're lonely. And I'm pretty sure they're lonely if they have to be stuck in the house by themselves in their rooms or whatever the case may be so make sure you are spreading the love as much as possible calling your grandmas grandpas great great it don't matter just call them and make sure you're checking up yes absolutely okay and one thing i just want to share with you all in our final minute of our live is take this opportunity to improve yourself whether that's physical activity whether that's a business endeavor that you've been thinking about and planning to do um whatever it may be just take this time to improve you have time you have um an abundance of opportunity out here in this world i don't want you to think the world is going to end and, you know, it's going downhill from here. It's actually an opportunity for many of us to rise up. And so make sure you're fueling your mind, your body, and your spirit with things that are positive, um, things that will uplift you during this time. And as me and Jasmine both stated earlier, will keep you at peace. Okay. So we are the ladies of My Mayhem. My name is Rosie. And Jasmine. And Tuesday was on with us earlier. We will save this and upload it to our YouTube channel. If you have not already, make sure you go to our YouTube channel. It is My Mayhem. It is linked in our bio. So you can just click the link and you will be there. Subscribe. We have uploads every Thursday. We're so grateful that you took this time to join us as we discuss how we've been coping during COVID-19. And hopefully it helps you with how you cope and how you're managing during this time. Okay? So and we'll we talk love to you guys, later. too. We love you all.